Good morning friends and welcome to the 2021 bank update video that I said I wasn't going to do but I kind of figured I should end up doing because I got some spare time. Um, there are some interesting things that have changed and there's a lot that's going to change next year as well so it'll be fun to have a look at it. Uh, to kick us off before anyone asks about it because it's so relevant on the left over here these are the bank layout this is the what is it bank layout plugin i forget exactly what it's called but if you search like layout in the the uh the client thingy it'll it'll bring it up on the plugin hub and basically this just stored that so my, my bank is laid out aesthetically it's not really for gearing or anything but these these bank layout plugin tab things these are how you gear and you can gear super quickly as long as you take the time to lay them out an example of this my favorite one is the master clue so for my, if I have a master clue, let's let's assume that's the master clue. I can just go up and down, up and down, up and down on all of these. You have to set this up manually, but once you do, it'll save you a huge amount of time. And then I just click everything one time and bang, I'm ready to go do master clues. So these are really, really strong. And that's why my bank is the way it is. And I would highly recommend checking out the plugin. I have one of these things for pretty much every boss that I want to do and do do. And it just makes life a lot easier. So actually onto the bank what's changed and what are the plans and what's going on so compared to last bank video i have a lot more infernal capes is the main thing it's pretty much it i've done a lot of inferno i've done a lot of inferno um and i expect this is going to go up to about 260 or 70 next year because there's more content coming out in the likes of next and raids 3 so i won't be doing as much inferno but it will still go up the long-term goal is 1000 of them so who knows, in like two, three years, I might get bored enough to actually grind them, but for now, slow and steady. Big changes early next year. This will all become Torva. Uh, Bandos is getting replaced and the face guard is becoming essentially redundant, I believe. It's got like more prayer bonus, but that's about it. So this stuff up here, top left, will be replaced with Torva, which would be cool to see. Um, but that's all normal. I did end up getting my harmonized back and all three shields, which is very nice to see. It looks very, very cool. Um, but I did it at the cost of selling my arrows and some of my chins and stuff. So I'm not too fussed about this because there's still white stacks and the million doesn't really concern me. It's just kind of a, a fourth un a fourth un thing. I am a bit sad about the chins though because back when the new bow was coming out, the bow, uh, what's it called? The Zarite, Zarite bow. It's not coming out anymore because a lot of us complained that it was essentially too strong. And it is, it's stupidly broken, or was going to be in the way it was released. Um, but I thought it was going to come out, so I sold all my chins, because it would have replaced chins. And then I realized it's not coming out, so now I had to rebuy some. So that's why the stack looks a bit different, and the arrows don't really matter. So other than losing some value there, which doesn't really matter, got the stuff back here. Capes have gone up, and we have some new helms. So all the Slayer helms got an update. I may as well take them all out. All the Slayer helms got an update. But um, combat achievements came out this year. Uh, we kind of tried to speedrun this on the first week and two. Uh, we got it on, I think, like week two. But I was nowhere near first completion. I was very much brickwalled by KCs, unfortunately. So the, kind, the whole thing kind of turned into just KC achievements for a lot of people, which is a bit of a shame. And I still want them to, re I still, even after doing it, want them to remove KCs because Elite over here is very much brickwalled by... Uh, kill count so if you do complete ones all of these are KCs and these are no small laughing like these these are just these take forever just these take forever so but yeah the helms look pretty nice uh, I don't really like the Verzik one it's okay Jad looks not bad and then Zuck yeah it looks really good it, don't, it doesn't really fit with a lot of stuff but it's a standalone fantastic helm so very nice to have um, but that completes like the Slayer Helm stuff Still, I'm still hunting that Tanzanite mutagen. We still don't have that. I've been working on it slowly. But unfortunately, no luck there. Uh, da, 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 moving down. I think this is all the same. Slightly different, slightly differing amounts of things. The, the Avernix are like the same. Aha, funny. I plan to get eight of them eventually, just for fun, but I need more GP. Uh, Dragon Hunter Crossbow. And both Fader Ninhan, the Bofa. I think these are all newly recolored now. Uh, this is corrupted, but I've recolored it because I like it blue. This is obviously corrupted, and you can attach things using KBD heads or Vorkath heads to the Dragon Hunter crossbow, so... 
Those are all nice and new. Everything else here is still the same. Um, trying to think. I guess this book here, Thrall Book, may not have been in here last time, but Thrall Book is very strong. Thralls are OP now, so that's kind of new. Tome of Water might be new. I don't know, man. This is all like, yeah. This is the dead end of stuff. Got some Van Braces for next. Got some other things like hopefully you're going to be half decent for next. These are a, a good buy so far. They've been going up. On to potions. So potion stuff. I sold some prayer pots. I just don't use enough of them. I actually got more of the other pots, I think, especially Sandfuse to stock up for the 1k Infernos. The Janky Berries and the Teas remain strong. And the only major difference here is... Yep. The sweets are down. Now, the reason why they've, they've gone down, stack-wise, not GP-wise, GP-wise they've actually stayed pretty good. The reason why these have gone down is because I'm giving all of them away in a series of events from the sweet rewards. And it's just, um, it's just because I don't really have a reason to have this many. It's kind of silly to have this many. So I figured I could put on events and essentially just have some fun with them. So that's what I've been doing, and we're nearly halfway through the stack, uh, and a lot of events are still planned to go, so... No worries about that. Very happy to give them to a good cause. And the rest of those events will be taking place uh, early next year, hopefully, or like towards mid-year. This tab has stayed pretty much 99% identical, except we have the Gommel Hilts now. This is also a combat achievement reward. Uh, it's basically just a it's a teleport to Trollheim and Moral Wreck. This is a very good TP. But that's it. this is all identical. As far as I can tell. Slayer stuff. Identical yet again, I believe. I, I'm, I'm really not sure what's changed here, if anything. Lutation tab. So you may notice I have a dust placeholder from TRB. So I did actually end up getting this about five, six days ago. Uh, and I'll jump to the I'll jump to the house to show off the pet at some point. We do have a couple of new pets as well, but I did end up getting that placeholder again. Still hunting this tans, but that's okay. Uh, the toggle stat could be higher, but at some point during the year, Jagex released an update that made maces four tick instead of five tick across the board, and the obby mace, like the not the obby mace, but the other obby. Well, I guess the obby mace, not the obby maul had an update that changed it to be essentially just as good as the Inquisitor's Mace, and they didn't realize. So I spent like 3 mil tockle buying it and selling it and made 40 mil in about 5 minutes. Thanks, Jagex. Uh, but I'm about 3 mil tockle short of what it actually is. I could always top it up with Chaos Runes, but this is like a purely earned tockle stack, which is quite cool. Uh, unique stuff. Well, I mean, yeah. Hard mode top kind of did good for me. I have excess excess of these by far. We'll go and have a look at the. Uh, where is it? I don't know if I got any pets this year. I might have had one more pet. I'm not sure. I think I must have received at least one more pet this year. But that's the Inferno one. Um, as far as raids go, TOB wise, yeah. So we got Dust now. We got six Holy Kits and five Sanguine Kits, which is ridiculous. But yeah, I guess. Uh, one of my long-term goals is to work towards the, fire, the the tier 5 cape, so that's kind of what I'm doing there. In chambers, I still... I don't I don't think I did any CM or any kit gaining this, this year. Maybe like one or two, so... Yeah. But that's basically the same as well. Anyway, those are the top uniques. My hard mode. The rest of this is more or less the same layout. The really good thing with Bank Update, which came like three weeks ago is that we have a thousand slots now in the bank. I can buy more, but I have to uh, pay an extortionate amount of GP and I don't really need more than a thousand right now. So I've been starting to collect all the random bits of loot like this. I've got a Zami Hill, Avernix and Rapiers and now. So I, I can fill out this section here more towards next year as Nex and Torva and shit gets released. So it's cool. It's nice. I'm going to do some major overhaul to this section of the bank. So. I know, I know not a lot has changed, but a lot is going to change, which is nice. Skilling tab remained mostly the same, I think, here. Um, I think EQ keys can probably be moved elsewhere. This is like a skilling and tool tab, I guess. 
been working on my Stardust a little bit more. I actually thought that was it for a minute. I don't know where my Stardust is, but... Ah, well. I've been working on Stardust. There it is. I need to get the ring. I don't know what I need, but I need to get the ring. So that's also on the table. Um, I don't know what half of the stuff is, to be honest. But I'm pretty sure that's, like, remained the same. Crystal crown things. Because we have bank space, I moved all the max capes, uh, all, all the 99 capes back in here. I have the graceful from Trailblazer now. And I will almost certainly be able to buy the remainder of the crystal crowns next year. So that's going to be awesome to have this actually finally filled out because this has been sitting here for a legit year. Uh, but it depends how well next does for me. I need to make a lot of GP. Moving down yet again. This looks probably almost identical, I suspect. Um, I have some ongoing merchy merches here and there. Nothing too crazy. I just fill this with junk tab. I do have these two things from Sarachnus, but you can get these by just... You can buy these, basically. These are the mutagens for Sarachnus pet, so at some point, if I get it, which I'm working towards, that'd be good. And I actually have the Parasitic Egg from Nightmare, which I'm never going to use on the pet, because I'm never going to do Nightmare for pet, because I hate Nightmare, but I have that as well. Uh, but this is just like excess tab, PK gear and whatnot. All the Druidic is saved here as well. I don't really have any plans to get this anymore. It's just like there as a placeholder, but I mean... Maybe at some point. It's just effort to get it though. It's just effort. So much GP, so much time, so much effort. If I make up if I make 10 bill next year, yeah, I'll consider getting it, but I have to get incredibly lucky with Nex and I don't know if Nex Nex is good, but I don't know if it's 10 bill good. Uh, I do suspect I'll make about 10 bill, but that's after raids three, so. And I gotta buy all the items as well. I can't just sell them, I gotta use them. Um God, that's it. That's it. That's the whole bank. It's the whole bank. I will put uh, a little link in the description of an Imgur page that will show the entire layout. There's a really nice screenshot plugin that takes a picture of the entire bank in full. Uh, so I will do that. Uh, but I will also jump to the house very quickly to show off a couple of new pets. I've not been doing much pet hunting this year. There was only one pet that I was really going for and I didn't even commit that hard. But of the pets that I think are from this year, we have two new additions to the family. Maybe even three if you count this fella. I'm not sure when the last bank video was, to be honest. But um, I, I think these are the three new pets. So, Jalarek Jad. This is the metamorphosis of regular Jad. And I, I, I'm really not sure when this came out, but it, it must have been after the last bank update. I'm sure of that. So, we got this bad boy. He looks very cool. But um, it is just Jad after all. Uh, I got Kriara, which is an amazing pet. And this is the one God Wars pet that I really wanted. I'm also going for Zami now, and I've got about a thousand KC there. So Zami will maybe join us next year as well, if I'm lucky. And uh, the best thing about Kriara, it has this voice line. And it's not just about the verse line, but watch the bird, watch the bird. He just fucking dies, man. It's actually that bad. He does respawn, I promise he respawns. I didn't know this about I didn't know about this for ages, but really cool. Um and last but supposedly not least, we have this fella. This is the top pet. Uh the metamorphosis option, a bit like the Chambers of Zarek with Dust on, so Maiden, Bloat, Nilo, Satetsek, and Zarbus. I think Zarpus is my favorite, but I really, really do like... I, I like Maiden a lot as well. I'm a big fan of the flying pets. As you can see. But I think that more or less rounds it up, so not, basically not a whole lot of changes to the bank. But next year I'm going very hard. I am streaming full-time now. I've got lots of time on my hands. Uh, I'll be doing a lot more on YouTube instead of just VOD reviews. There, I've got a lot of stuff planned. And I feel like I've been saying it, but it's, it's, you know, it's coming out of the planning stage and it's actually going to be happening. So that's really awesome to see. But um, I think next year is going to be big. I, I plan on tracking pretty much everything I'm doing, uh, especially drop wise. So I'll be able to, at the very least, show like all the individual drops and hopefully clips and stuff. But also I'll be able to get some hella GP and deck out the bank fully. So we're going to go for the full Crystal Crowns, the full Torva. The new crossbow, the Masuri stuff, just everything. And all the drops will be there nicely laid out as well. 
So that's all from me. Have a very good Christmas if you're watching around this time. And if not, then, well, enjoy the rest of the day. See you guys.